Okay, I wanted to follow up on my initial video which showed you how to create this element with how to add your subcategories and how to control visibility of this item because these are very important things to be aware of. So I'll go ahead and do the subcategory first. Now we've already changed this to structural framing and I'm going to add a new subcategory to structural framing called flashing. So we'll add new flashing this way I can control the default color and line weights as well as the line pattern. So I'm going to change this to blue and I will change my cut pattern to 3 and my projection to 5. Again, these can all be overridden once they're in the project. So I'll say OK. Now you'll notice nothing changed and that's because I haven't assigned the subcategory to this item. So once I select this I can assign the flashing subcategory and it automatically changes that item. So, and it'll be easier to tell here. Now the other thing that I want to do is I want to control the visibility of this item because I don't want to see this in plan view um, except, you know, maybe in, well, I don't want to see it at all in plan view as you know, a physical element in this example. I only want to see it in front and back, left or right, and I only want to see it at medium and fine detail. So we'll say OK. And then I'm going to add a symbolic line. And you could do this as symbolic or modeled. It's kind of up to you. It's probably more common to do it as symbolic, but either way will work. So on the annotate tab, I'm going to create a symbolic line and I want to make sure I pick my flashing projection and I'll use my pick tool and again you want to verify that it's locked so we'll pick on that reference line I do want to flex it to make sure that it's going to change as it should and we're all good to go here so let's go ahead and save now the other thing you're going to want to do is control the visibility of this item because we've told it you know that in plan we're not going to see the physical at all so we probably want to leave this on all the time um, but if you want to control it and say it's only on in course that's you know you can do that as well so and the same would be true for the elevation you know what we've got visible of that flange I left it on um, in the geometry. So just kind of keep these things in mind how you want it to be visible in different types of views. So we'll go ahead and load this into our test project and I'm going to overwrite the version. You'll notice that it changed the colors and that's because I updated it within the family. If I go into visibility graphics and I expand structural framing then I'll see that flashing category and I can overwrite it so I can override it in both cut and projection. So for this example, I'll just change the color of both of them. And we'll OK out. And again, this is view specific. So just another way to kind of, you know, enhance your family building skills and other things that you guys should be aware of. So thanks for listening.